Hello, my name is Eugene Weaver, and I'm a product engineer with Schweitzer Engineering Lab's Fault Indicator and Sensor Division. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to use the Radio Ranger system to locate faults on your underground circuits. This wireless interface is a device that can be mounted in a subsurface vault or manhole, as well as a pad-mounted enclosure. Right now you can see that I have a sensor plugged into the interface. Here we have the 8310 remote fault reader. Let's start by pressing the power button to turn the remote fault reader on. You'll immediately notice that the LEDs all turn on and cycle between three different colors. This is a test cycle for the LEDs to show you that all the colors and all the LEDs are working. Next, we'll hit the scan button. Pressing the scan button allows us to look for nearby wireless interfaces. We can see that the wireless interface LEDs have lit up and some of them are flashing amber indicating that the unit is scanning for nearby wireless interfaces. Here we have wireless interface number one selected, which is the unit right next to me. Under fault indication, we can see that most of the LEDs are not lit. LEDs that are not lit mean there is no sensor plugged into that port on that specific interface. Here we can see that on way two, phase A, the LED is green. This means that a sensor is plugged into that port and the status of that sensor is not tripped, it's reset. If the LED were red, it would mean that the fault indicator has tripped, indicating a fault. So I'm here in the field where I already have a Radio Ranger wireless fault indication system installed. A wireless interface is installed in this pad mount enclosure on my left. This pad mount enclosure can be a piece of switch gear, but in some cases you can have a pad mount transformer or pad mount junction application. I can go ahead and look at the status of the radio within the enclosure by using my remote fault reader. I'll start by powering on the remote fault reader. I'll next hit the scan button and I'll start looking for nearby radios. So what I'll do is I'll hold my remote fault reader up to the window. And you can see that when I did that I instantaneously picked up the signal from the wireless interface ID with ID number one. That's the interface that's installed within this enclosure. So you can see how easy it is to use the Radio Ranger system to locate faults on your circuits. Use this system to improve reliability and improve safety.